What's up? This is Squad 2448. We're following Senator 17 map building video. Today we'll be building the main farm for the map. I did actually extend the road all the way over here from the town, and this will be only the main farm, which will have the silos and the shops. Then we'll be having different farms for all the different animals, cows, sheep, pigs, and then actually behind our farmhouse over here, we'll be having a horse area, which should be pretty cool. The farmhouse for this farm will be this three car garage perfect for having a sports car or even some cool old trucks everything like that and I actually did kind of put in the place where the farm road will actually start so I do want to select this house we do kind of want this off of the road just a little bit and I actually do think having it just like this kind of tucked away that looks pretty good right there we do have to move a bunch of things today but I think we'll kind of get started off here with the farm road and I'm very excited for building this farm and for building a map here with a farm it's going to be a pretty exciting thing for us and I can't wait to do farming videos here on you guys will be able to farm and this this will be one pretty cool map so you guys can see I'm just trying to build this little road area and I'm very excited for it I've been wanting to do one of these for quite some time a map with a full farming area but you guys can see this will be kind of the farm house area that's perfect that we could actually extend this just a little bit more to have a little bit more room kind of moving around but that looks to be good there and I actually do want to have kind of grass here in the center so let's kind of bring up some grass really fast to kind of show you guys that and I wanted to kind of show you guys what this main farm will be and I am going to be taking a ton of time doing this. So we do want to switch over here. This will be kind of there. Then you'll have grass. And then you guys can see I also do have new grass textures. And I am basing the map off of a new map. And I believe that this map will be a bit better than the previous one that I was basing it off of. But you guys can see that's how it will be kind of the tire tracks. And then the grass kind of grown where the tire tracks are not. Next up we'll be kind of working here on the shops. Now you guys can see we do have two shops here which is pretty cool. And then we do have this extra one which doesn't have garage doors. But that will be perfect for the equipment. So we do not have to keep them outside. Uh, and in the weather now this will have a lot of hills I will be working on the train later on and we'll be kind of putting this to 90 yeah I think we'll put it to 90 and let's take a look I wanted to kind of tuck this way over here so this looks to be good I do want to have a ton of room and I do actually want the concrete slab so like we're saying won't be worrying about the height too much on some of these because I actually will be raising it so we got that one in place yeah that one looks to be good we got that one next up we'll be taking this one and I really want to kind of have this a very very well laid out also so this one I'm thinking we'll probably just put right over here so that probably looks good we'll tuck it back just a little and also to be a little bit more helpful we'll put it there so that looks to be good we got our uh, tool equipment shed right over there next up we do actually have this larger shed so we want to take this this is a pretty big shop and I'm very excited for this map like we're saying it will be released first day of spring the beta version will have the farm fields everything like that and I wasn't going to be having it but I thought that I would be able to do it and it looks like we will so you guys can see we'll have that shop just like that we'll kind of move it in just a little so you guys can see so that's how the farm will go we, we do actually have this little area this is pretty cool it's a wind pumped tower bucket and I think we'll kind of just put this one right here now we do want to be careful not to put things on the corner just in case we have low boys bringing combines anything like that so this one I actually kind of like there we'll, we'll kind of rotate it just a little bit to have it face that way that looks pretty cool so we got that one we got all these shops next up will be this very big thing to do which is to move these tanks so let's kind of select this now this is going to be a bit tricky since the moving position is over here but let's kind of take a look at where we do want to put this like we were saying guys I am basing this off of a different map now and I believe that this map is going to be perfect for us actually I really do like the placement as is you will be able to kind of turn in here then turn out yeah that looks awesome so far so next up we'll be lowering this down a little too much like we're saying I will have to adjust the heights that it was actually pretty close wow that came out very nice so next up we do actually have to get the area for it to kind of cover it up because we do not want water getting in actually we do also have to get the area set up so you guys can see we'll kind of put that just like that that actually fits pretty well there up next we'll have to get the drier section of it looks like we have it fully selected and we'll be moving this into place I would like to thank each and every one of you for all of the support here on these map building videos I'm very excited for this map it's going to be one epic map offering many different things like we're saying we'll have a fully functioning farm and I'm thinking 
meaning that what you will most likely have just a round, I would say 10 to 15 fields long with everything like that. So think about like the mowing map, but even better with farm fields. So that's pretty much what I'm trying to go for here, which is going to turn out very well. You guys can see I do have this over here. I actually do have to dig the hole. I will be doing that a little bit later on. So you guys can see we've got the farm silos all set up. Pretty much this main farm is perfect. Next up, we do actually have the fertilizer and also the seed. So we want to first take the seed and let's kind of see which one this is. We'll just kind of paste it here and it should be showing us the trigger. Yeah, so we'll kind of put this to zero. We, you guys can see it looks like the trigger is there. We'll have to rotate this 90, negative 90, and there we have it. So we got this one here. I actually kind of really do like the placement there. So next up, we'll kind of get the fertilizer one. It, these do fully function, which is nice. You drive up to them and you could start to fill up your uh, cedars, everything like that. If you do not want to use the uh, pallets of seed, we'll be putting this to negative 90, thinking it's the same layout, which it is. So you guys can see we got all of that done. Next up, and like the main thing for us now, is kind of do all of the gravel. And sometimes I really do like to do these, but sometimes this is a bit tricky. So we'll kind of just get the main areas, and I think that that would be pretty cool. So you guys can see we got that done. It, next up, we'll be kind of coming over here. A lot of open area for you to move those giant tractors around. It, and we'll have a variety of large fields and smaller ones also. So we do just want to do, we'll kind of fill in that little area. And then over here, I actually want to do something, try it out. So we'll kind of uh, just go to here. So that looks to be good. It, We'll be changing this from square to round, and we'll be kind of just building this road area now. So this should be pretty cool, and you guys can see that actually blends very nicely. That is perfect. We do want this to be gravel all the way around, it, and then we want this road to kind of come in right over here. So there's a lot of like touching up I will have to do off camera, and it looks like from these silos, this is the only one that works. But we'll go to both. I don't see a problem with going to them. So you guys can see, we kind of have that turn. It looks like it's not actually going as smooth of a circle as I was thinking. But you guys can see that looks to be good. Next up on this side, let's take a look. So we want to have the road come all the way like this. We want it to be a very wide road and very easy to kind of bring big and long semi trailers. So as you guys can see, that looks pretty good. And then over here, I mean, that looks awesome. I really do like the layout of the farm so far. You guys can see a ton of room. We'll actually just make a little bit more over here. Wow, that is a ton of room to move around. So that looks pretty much it here on the main farm. And actually, we do have a few more things. We'll take these barriers and we'll be putting these into place. So we'll take these and I do want to put a few over here. Let's take a look. We want to protect these. We'll kind of put one here. We'll readjust this and we just want to protect these uh, from getting hit. So we'll just kind of place a few around it just like that. Well, that actually looks very nice. We'll do a few on the other side now. We'll do one and I think we'll do like three. So one, two, and three. So I actually really do like how that came out. Next up, I do want to put a few. Let's take a look. We'll put a few here on this side. So one, two, and three. And I really do like those. That actually looks pretty cool. So we'll kind of continue to do that. Next up, we'll be focusing here on the grass. And I actually want to fix this area. This doesn't look the best. So we'll be switching this over to grass. And we'll just pretty much fill in this area. Really do like this farm though. It looks awesome so far. And wow, that road looks pretty cool. Like we're saying, I will have to touch up those lines, everything like that. We'll be switching over here to the grass. And like we're saying, we'll be doing videos uh, building each farm. That's going to be a very exciting thing. And I can't wait to do those. But you guys can see here are the new grass textures. Every part on this map will be mowable. And I have also gotten a few questions asking me, will this be on the console? Because I I am using buildings with different brands that aren't already in the game. Uh, we cannot have them on console. So that's why it's not going to be on it. I wish it could be, but there are just so many buildings with brands that aren't in the game that uh, won't be allowed on console. So you guys can see, you did a pretty good job there. Then we actually have this tank over here that we could take. So it looks like we have the propane tank fully selected, and we'll be just kind of tucking this alongside the building right like this. So we'll put this right alongside. Really good placement. Yeah, that looks to be perfect. It's out of the way, but that looks awesome. Next up, I actually do want to clean this up, and I I think that having that little grass really does stand out, but we'll kind of continue just do this little bit, and then we'll do that last 
part. Now these last parts you guys can see we have right here. So I'm actually thinking, let's take a look. I believe that these are only here for show. So we'll be taking one of these. We'll definitely put this to zero. I really do like having them with like uh, 90 degrees. It's a lot easier. We'll just kind of place a few over here just like that. We'll take one more and I think we'll place it right here. And then once we do that, I will be just kind of deleting the others and removing the grass there. But that's how this will go, guys. I mean, this will be the main farm. I really do like the entrance to it. I mean, that does look pretty cool. A lot of open area. You got two shops, a very nice area you guys can see. And I will actually be placing lights all over this. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video building this main farm. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe for more.